Okay guys, welcome back. My name is Jeremiah and in today's video we are going to be talking about one of the most elusive killers to ever exist and to this day nobody knows who he is. Um, but we are going to cover the facts, the victims, the suspects, the murder method. And maybe they even hopefully come to a conclusion on who we all as a group think it is. And obviously the case is Jack the Ripper. Let's talk about Jack's first victim. Okay, so his first victim was Mary Ann Nichols, aka Polly. Now Miss Nichols was a street prostitute who lived in pretty much like a, we would kind of call it a hostel sort of thing today but that's where she lived along with a lot of our girls but for some reason Miss Nichols was Jack's very first victim well she believed to be Jack's first victim now, in the expert says there's only five victims of Jack the Ripper, okay? Now, if that's true, why start off with five? That's why I want to know, that's why I want to know straight away. Why only five? If he was so sick and sadistic the way experts and investigators are still putting them together, why did he only kill five people? Now, it's believed by small well not small but like a group that Jack the Ripper actually has 11 victims okay that's a lot of victims but let's talk about um Polly I'm going to be reading off the list guys I'm just letting you that know, know uh, I'm letting you know that right now because there's a lot of information and I want to get it all facts. So at 3.15 a.m. on Friday the 31st of August 1888, I think it was PC... Yes, PC, PC John Fain had been doing his local patrol and he reported nothing, nothing suspicious at 3.15am. However, when two men, well one man at the start, when two men on their way to work finally came upon Polly's body. Now, the two men were Charles Cross and Robert Paul, and one or other of the men checked for a pulse, a heartbeat, anything to give them signs of life. And that's when one of the men turned around to the other and says, there's a faint pulse, she's still alive, but instead of going getting help, what did they do? Work was more important, it's time to go to work. Now instead of one of the men staying with Polly and making sure, or maybe even trying to help her, nah, they kind of just off they went, agreeing to each other that they would, uh, tell the first police officer that they seen which happened to be happened to be hang on guys this is what I mean this is why I'm reading off the list Jonas Maidan I come it's Jonas Mizan Maidan was the first man however unknown to him was that PC John Neil already had found the body so he did 
and that's when he showed it to obviously John Thien to join him and shortly after that Mr. well PC Jonah was on the scene too now Thien or one of the other constables ran to get a doctor who lived nearby now when this doctor arrived a few minutes later the body was found at 3.45 a.m. so the doctor arrived five minutes later leaves at 3.50 a.m. now the doctor went about his work and started to try to feel the pulse and try to make sure that this girl was able to pull through sadly a couple of minutes after he turned around to the constables and said, pronounced her death by a few minutes now maybe if them morgue men went and got the doctor maybe that doctor could have done something maybe helped her to identify her attacker Jack the Ripper but no work was more important apparently how had a hate to be alive back in them things um, but before the two workers had left Polly's skirt had been up showing everything so the two workers rearranged the skirt leaving her more decent and less public exposure if you know what I'm saying now where Polly's body was found was on that was near a window that well like cottage that belonged to Emma Green who was a widower now Emma Green had one child no three children two boys one girl and they had went to bed roughly at 11 p.m. now Emma Green says that she was a very light sleeper and she wakes up anything could wake her up however she said that nothing disturbed her that night and she finally got a good night's sleep so the attack which we will be covering in the next video guys we will be getting into that and Polly's possessions and so on and so on but the attack that happened on Polly which I know and I'll let you know in the next video has me believing that maybe just maybe Polly's body was actually dumped there and it's the same for it was the manager of Essex Raff where she was actually found it was in the gate near there he says that him, her, uh, his wife and him had went to bed at a respectable time of 11pm now they'd been up awake through numerous hours of the night and they never heard a word or a noise that makes me believe that Paul is dumped there but the attack that Polly endured was vicious and sadistic straight away starting off in this Jack the Ripper case I know he's disgusting he's something mentally wrong with him and you guys as viewers will almost to a point understand where I'm coming from when I say he has a pattern of girls he likes to attack and if you already know Jack the Ripper then you already know about it but yeah um, let's just say that the Jack the Ripper case is definitely it's definitely famous um, a lot of people do know about it and it is one of the one of the most sickest disgusting cases I've ever researched in my life now I'm only 20 and I fell in love with trying to solve murders like I want to put I want to give the families justice and I want to give the victims justice too because nobody deserves to die the way these innocent people have died and somebody's took the law into their own hand and I will be in this channel guys but we will be discussing Jack the Ripper but we'll be discussing serial killers, mysteries, cults, um, more unsolved murders and beyond that 
and if in that I find intriguing, we will be discussing on this channel, and we will be in giving them the, we'll be giving them all, an in depth investigation. Um, so please, if you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel. It'll be very much appreciated. That would mean a lot, and give me a thumbs up, guys. Honestly, um, thank you for watching, and please come back again. Cheers.